Many working families are facing a difficult choice as the start of the new school year gets closer. Who will take care of their kids when they're distance learning? Kimberly Speakman has more on some of the help that's out there. Some parents say they're still working out how to juggle their job and still get their children set up for distance learning when they're not in the classroom. For me to be able to effectively monitor their learning and make sure that they're getting what they're done, they need to get done while I'm also getting what I need to get done is just a really big challenge. As a working mother of two, Daniela Spato Kittinger says she's trying to come up with a schedule that will allow her to work while making time to ensure her sons are learning. It's a little bit harder to communicate to your employer, you know, what the schedule is going to be when it's kind of changing a lot. For Rachel Cole and her husband, they're both essential workers and say they're not able to keep their kids home for the three days they'll be distance learning. We're scrambling right now. We're looking at our, our school options as well as looking at our options about you know, daycare. Thankfully, one of our children um, does have the opportunity to stay at a friend's home those three days. And so we're really blessed, but the other child, we couldn't find that. And they're not the only ones. According to a recent study by the Hawaii Children's Action Network, of the 721 parents surveyed, a majority of them said that no one in their family would be able to support their kids if their school has distance learning. But there may be some options available depending on the school. What we've heard is that some schools are exploring like a, a study hall where children that weren't in class that day could still be on campus with like an adult, uh, you know, for supervision. We're also hearing that some child care providers are being asked to possibly, you know, take in older siblings if they're able to and whether there's some flexibility there. The Department of Education says parents should check with each child's school to see what options are available to them. But Algier says more needs to be done. I really encourage, you know, as a community, you know, our businesses, uh, state leadership um, to, to come together to, to think of creative solutions um, to support our working families because it, we don't know what the future looks like. Kimberly Speakman, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.